There were so many emotions on that day two years ago, shock, fear, anger, and sadness. But now people are trying to count their blessings and stay strong as things slowly get back to normal. We spoke with one couple living on the lake as they look forward to brighter days. The water was this high, but it's, it's the blessings that we got. The hot tub still worked. Anybody can take away, it's, it's the little things you remember now. At the beginning, it was it was total devastation. It was total heartbreak. Could have been so much worse. Mike and Karen Logsdon are moving forward, looking on the bright side after their lifelong dream was drained. 30 fish that we rescued and put back in the <laughs> river. We had a day bed over here. Floated on top and didn't get wet. <laughs> we had so many little blessings along the way. But it wasn't until the last few months that Mike had a more optimistic view about what happened to their dream view. It, it was tough. I, there was times I was just, I was very depressed. I, mean, I, did, I wouldn't even look out the window. But now, after so much rebuilding... Just finished this fire pit. I just put it back together. The Logsdens and other Sanford Lake residents are looking out at the light at the end of the tunnel. It's been two years of a lot of emotions, but a lot of recovery efforts. For Sanford Lake Association's president, he's discovered a lot of good amid this disaster. People stepping up big time. The whole sense of community being huge kind of makes you proud being from this town. As downtown continues its reconstruction, Tim Holsworth says the next step for the lake bed is cutting it down. Something like 800 acres of trees that are 15 feet tall now. Holsworth says as long as things go to plan, the lakes will be restored in just about three years. There's a lot of great people that are, that are working for the recovery. We'll get there. And getting there has gotten easier as time has drifted on. I feel so much happiness about what we've accomplished here, and we have so much more to do out by the water. When those lakes do roar back, he hopes people don't forget the silver linings amid Sanford's most devastating days. Those little blessings that people overlook for overlook for a year, now I, I, I understand them. So, it'll be back. Many are still waiting for answers on the lawsuits filed after the floods. What's taking so long, and will the state government be granted immunity from them? Those questions are answered next. But first, how much of the repair bill will be paid by property owners living in these lakeside communities? We'll crunch the numbers and break down the proposed plan.